Uh, yes, there's been a couple of studies. There's uh, back about, uh, I'd say maybe 14 or so years ago, I was on a project called the the Mars Aerial uh, Surveyor, the Mars Ares plane, airplane project. And we just really couldn't get the propeller and compressor blades to work when coming in on a direct entry uh, from Earth and, and having to slow down and be able to to pull up and be able to to fly. So we had to go with uh, more of a rocket engine on that. And you can Google Mars Ares airplane project and see that. Uh, if the uh, the aerial vehicle is already going to be on the surface, and there there there's other uh, drone like. Uh, vehicles that are in the works right now, and I believe uh, there was a recent win by some folks here in the Hampton area, maybe in, even at Langley, on a, a Mars aerial platform, and I think JPL is also having one. So if you look online and look at what they're coming up with on, uh, you know, a propeller or something to actually uh, take advantage of the very light atmosphere, uh, so that it's not a uh, not a com necessarily a compressed gas, but actually a you know a helicopter rotary type blades uh, concept. Uh, you'll learn a lot as to what's been tried, or as what's being thought about. The, the other thing, if I could add to that, Bob, I was looking. Um, one of the educators we have at, uh, at, at NASA basically created a course online called Introduction to or Beginner's Guide to Aeronautics by Tom Benson. And in that he has a, um, uh, a, a basically a, a, a CFD, a computational fluid dynamics wind tunnel, if you will, where you can vary the shape of an airfoil and at different altitudes you can look at the performance of that particular airfoil and airfoil, sh airfoil shapes. I don't know if he does it for um, helicopter blades, but it would be interesting to look. And he also had some of his students basically convert the uh, atmosphere on, um, on Earth and so that you could toggle and switch between the atmosphere on Mars. So you can look at the different effects and vary geometries very easily to get an idea of what would that geometric shape look like for that airfoil on Mars? What would be the better shape? And um, and, and some of the students in, in his team could take a look at that. 